Hi, my name is Alvin Alexander with DevDaily.com and this is our tutorial on deleting text with the VI Editor. To demonstrate deletion commands in VI, I'm going to again work on the Gettysburg Address document, uh, one document that I've already mocked up. And to do this, I also want to uh, point out that I'm going to start with simple commands where I delete characters first, then I'll show you how to delete words, then delete text on one line, and then delete one or more lines. To delete characters, first move the cursor to the position where you want to start deleting, and then just use the letter X to delete one character at a time. And I'll demonstrate that here by deleting those characters. That first example showed how to delete characters that were positioned to the right of the cursor. Next, to delete characters to the left of the cursor, just use the capital letter X. If you know how many characters you want to delete beforehand, you can also put a number before the X commands. For instance, I know that this phrase that I have highlighted is 27 characters long, so if I type 27X, that deletes all those characters. And you can do the same thing with the uppercase X, although I'm not going to show that here. VI also lets you delete words very easily with a command called DW. For instance, if I type DW with the cursor in its current position, you can see that I've deleted that first parenthesis. If I type DW again, you'll see that I'll delete the word North in the phrase North America. I could keep typing DW, but that's kind of cumbersome. And one thing VI lets you do is repeat your previous command very easily. And all I have to do is press the decimal key to repeat my previous command. So I'll do that here for the rest of the line. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm reissuing that DW command, deleting what VI believes is one word at a time. As I get to the end of the line, it's easiest for me to clean up these last several characters using the X commands. So I'll move the cursor over one position and then delete those last two characters like that. To delete from my current cursor position to the beginning of the line, I can use another VI delete command, and this is D0. So as I press D0, you'll see that everything preceding the word now is going to be deleted. Just as I use D0 to delete everything from my current cursor position to the beginning of the line, I can also use D dollar sign to delete from my current cursor position to the end of the line. The zero and dollar sign characters are actually used very consistently in VI, and I think you'll find that these commands are easy to remember. Many times we need to delete an entire line, and this is very easily done with the DD command. So with my cursor positioned on the line show, I'll press DD, and you'll see that line is deleted. In a case like the example shown here where I have seven lines that I want to delete, I can do this several different ways. I can press DD to delete one line, and then I can use the decimal character as shown before to repeat that command six more times. So I'll press that. And you can see, it repeated the DD command and deleted all those lines. That normally works out very well. Another approach I can take here, which I've demonstrated before, is I can proceed my DD command with a number. So in this case, I know I want to delete eight lines. So instead of typing DD and then repeating that command, I can type 8DD. And as you can see, it deletes all those lines at one time. This has been our tutorial on deleting text with VI. For more information, please visit devdaily.com and search for VI Editor.